Uh, now, I'm going to come back in the next segment, I promise, go to uh, Nick and Jim uh, and uh, Andrew and everybody else that's patiently holding. But I saw a story up on Infowars.com, uh, Sustainable Development Park Violates Artist First Amendment, uh, and his, his, his great art uh, that you can see up on the site uh, was up there for a while, and then they removed it because it was kind of Tea Party-esque, showing people with American flags marching and uh, you know, stuff like that, just serious thought criminal. I mean, stuff you would imagine in the old America, really evil George Washington type stuff. And so he contacted us, so our writer, Julie Wilson, wrote a story about it. We're putting some of his amazing art up on screen. We have a link uh, to his uh, art site as well uh, in the story. Uh, but joining us, Infowars.com, um, one of the latest editions uh, here, one of our reporters, she's done local reporting for a few years on radio and in print, uh, is uh, Julie Wilson. Julie, what's your take on this? Tell people about where this is, what's happening, and now reportedly, he's been blacklisted. They've sent an email around town saying, you know, this is a... This is a, a person that, you know, uh, that we're not to support, basically, which is a good authoritarian instinct that we would expect to see in North Korea. Yeah, Alex, uh, thanks for giving me one time. Come on closer to your microphone for me. Thanks. Go ahead. Uh, basically, uh, this artist, Chris Hobay, is what his name is. He has a company called Artistic Revolt. Yeah, I'm sorry. Revolt. We, we changed mics around a little bit today. Didn't test that beforehand. That so, uh, yeah, just lean right up on it and... Get, yeah, just get right up on the mic. There we go. Okay. So there's this artist named Chris Hobay. He has a company called Artistic Revolt. He's a popular artist in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, kind of the irony in this uh, story is that he's had his artwork on display in the area for seven to ten years. Never had any issues. And in fact, he's, you know, had a lot of fans. He's got a lot of compliments on his work. Uh, but recently, he partnered up with a company called Atlantic Station, which seems like it's kind of like a Zilker Park for Austin. A uh, place to have dining, movies in the park, concerts, festivals, that kind of thing. So he made a contract with them to uh, be able to set up his art booth there. And he had one uh, successful showing. He got good feedback from the customers and the leasing agents on the property. And so he went for his next monthly round to set up shop. He put $2,500 into his booth, you know, because he had a uh, success last time. And uh, this time, the GM came by his booth and started questioning his artwork and asked him, you know, what political party do you belong to and you know, what are your political viewpoints? He did stuff like uh, a sign saying tax to death, mm -hmm. showing uh, Uncle Sam as a skeleton. I mean, how evil, how American. Right. This is Phil. This is evil. So uh, Chris Hobe, you know, told him, listen, you know, I'm not actually affiliated with any political party. You know, I actually show our history you know, through my work, and I don't consider it to be political. He shows veterans marching with American flags? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's bad. And so the GM actually left on the note with uh, complimenting him on his work and then took off in his golf cart. And the next thing he knew, the leasing agents came by and told him that he had to shut down shop immediately and that if he didn't, they were going to escort him off the property. And so while he was taking out his work, a local newspaper called Creative Loathing, Loafing, excuse me, was uh, photographing his work and said, hey, you know, what are you doing? Where are you going? And he said, well, you know, I've been asked to leave. And so he left the premises, and a short time later, he got a phone call from that same newspaper telling him that a mass email was circulating around to all the businesses in Atlantic City, or I'm sorry, Atlantic Station, saying that his work was actually, I can give you the quote right here. Uh, they told him that his work was... This is in Atlanta, Georgia. Violent and political nature of their art, and that they were not allowed anywhere on the property for purchases of a gallery or shop. So they. And there's nothing violent uh, because he sent us the stuff that was there. I mean, they just take everything and demonize it and say, oh, you're criticizing the government. That might cause violence. That's what all these newspaper reporters always ask me. And then Bloomberg had the quote in there Alex Jones doesn't build bombs, he builds bombers. Yeah, that was. Really? I thought there. the defense contractors built bombers. <laughs> Another, I thought the FBI built bombers. Another point that I really want to make about this story is that the park that shut this guy down, when you go to their website, they actually advertise themselves as the national model for smart growth and sustainable development. And their uh, motto is live, work, and play in the same community. Well, let me tell you what you do to this UN group. He goes and videotapes other art, anything that has a skeleton, because the most offensive thing could be Uncle Sam as a skeleton. 
uh, and say, you know, how is that violent? And then show any other type of art like that, then you have a discrimination issue. And you've got to block these authoritarians because they will shut everybody down. Yeah, he said that the booth next to him had art that had nudity and all that kind of stuff, which was supposed to be banned from the festival, but nothing was said to them. So, Well, the point is, you come, they, they accept you to the festival, then they kick you out. Mm -hmm. This is how real authoritarianism operates. First thing Hitler did uh, with gypsies, Jews, and other groups was not let them be in festivals. Then they couldn't have their own business. You know, they go knock the windows out. And then, oh, you got to go to this this ghetto for your safety and then oh we're gonna put you on these trains for your safety that's how it works people can read the full article and see the evil thought crime at prisonplanet.com and infowars.com sustainable development park violates artist first amendment rights good job for standing up for that wicked first amendment julie sir you are welcome <laughs> we'll be right back with more of your phone calls straight ahead this is going on outside atlanta georgia now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.